Now look, here's what we're gonna do. If you don't mind holding that. Oh, look wow. at that. And then tell you what, put it on a cracker, dip it in a little Dijon mustard. Now this is wow. this is as good cold. You just pop that in the refrigerator and just slice it off whenever you want a good snack. And people throw these away. Are you ready? I'm ready. It smells good. That's good. Can you believe that? And again, the internal temperature on this needs to be about 175. Oh, that's just perfect. Beautiful mm. meat. Isn't that wonderful? They are looking good. Mm. Now, it's probably a good time to tell them about our Facebook page. Check it out, Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen, and like it. Figure out where we're going and what we're doing. And also, timfarmerscountrykitchen.com. You might want to visit that to check out some recipes you've never seen before on our shows. I think there's several hundred out oh, there yeah. now. Several hundred shows of us doing things all over the place. Look at that. Looks good. That meat is so tender. I love the vegetables, too. And we've got the flavor of the bone good. in there. Ready? I'm ready. Taste your sauce. This is worth the wait. Oh my goodness. Because you got tomatoes, but you got the beef and the wine. You know, that was so good. You don't taste all that tomatoey taste. It's it's blended perfect. You did good. You did good. But man, oh man, ooh, is that nice. Vegetables are good. The bone flavor. It's a, it has just a richness that you can't even hardly describe. But man, cook those bones. They're good for you. It's Calcium. Good. Stuff that we're not getting today that I think we need in our bodies. Now again, most of the stuff we cook, we really, really, like to get it done quick, but this is worth the wait. And uh, before we fill our mouths back up, it's pretty much all about it. good times, good friends, and good eats. We'll see you soon on Tim Warmer's Country Kitchen. Hello and welcome to Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen. Nikki and I have been cooking for years and years. This unscripted show about unscripted country living. That's right. We've had so many people ask us, how do we get a cookbook? How do you do that? TimFarmer'sCountryKitchen.com. Take a look at our store. We have all kinds of stuff on there. Now people have asked for more and more stuff. So we've got hats. So we've got the aprons that we use. We've got the Salt Rocks cooking plates. How-to DVDs. And very soon, cookbook number two is coming. Yay. Now, we started our cooking show in 2012 and we had so many people ask us. They wanted those recipes from your grandparents, my grandparents, people we right. run across in the woods or on the waters mm -hmm. over the years. And so we came up with this first cookbook and those books have gone out all over the world. Yes, they cookbook have. two is coming out. TimFarmersCountryKitchen.com. Visit our store. Get your cookbook. We'll be glad to share our kitchen with you and our recipes from many, many years passed down. Standing up on a roof and talking to a camera is kind of extreme. Just like tartar, extreme challenges. You've got a back brace on, you've got, you've got a neck brace, you've got a helmet. We just want to see how it hold up to the real extreme challenge. Well, here we go. Woo! We're just testing the product so it really does live up to durable, dependable, and tough. We are taking American-made products to the next level. We are tartar farm and ranch equipment.